A new series of studies have found that regular sauna bathing improves cardiovascular function and health, especially in patients or people with poor cardiovascular function. This is really important to remember because cardiovascular disease is still the number one leading cause of death worldwide. Death from heart disease outnumbers death from COVID-19 all throughout the pandemic, at least two to one. So it's really important that we focus on this. And this new meta-analysis, which involved a rigorous detail and inclusion of 16 different studies, have found that sauna bathing two to four times per week for about 30 minutes dramatically improves cardiovascular health. It reduces high blood pressure. It improves ejection fraction. It doesn't increase any underlying health conditions that would maybe worsen cardiovascular disease. In fact, it improves that even though when you go in the sauna, it does increase epinephrine and heart rate temporarily, you know, transiently, which then return to below baseline. So it's really important because as we've talked about before, new NHANES analysis have found that about 92% of American adults and 96% of American men have suboptimal cardiometabolic health. This is a combination of poor heart health paired with poor metabolic health, meaning that they're at increased risk of developing and succumbing prematurely to death from heart disease and heart disease related challenges. Moreover, we know that poor cardiovascular health worsens dementia and the cerebrovascular system is related to the health of of the brain. So the healthy your cardiovascular system, your circulatory system is, it's good for your brain, it's good for your muscles. There was a recent study that found that people that do resistance training with a little bit of cardio actually build more muscle because the health of their cardiovascular system is nourishing the muscles. So a lot of things get linked back to the health of our heart. And again, this a meta-analysis of 16 different studies I just want to read to you the title, Acute and Short-Term Efficacy of Sauna Treatment on Cardiovascular Function, a Recent Meta-Analysis. And so what they found is going in the sauna can actually reduce your blood pressure by five points. Okay, so that's pretty significant. You know, most people would say a drug is a success if it reduces your blood pressure by about 10 points. And so here you have a drug-like effect without the side effects of a drug. We know that, for example, beta blockers, we know that people that are on uh, thiazide diuretics, guess what? Yeah, those do lower your blood pressure, but they come at a cost, and that is increasing insulin resistance. And if we know that insulin resistance is the underlying cause of cardiovascular disease, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So this is a natural way that you can improve the health of your cardiovascular system. So please, I implore you, sign up at a gym that has a sauna. Start doing this after you exercise. If you don't have access to a sauna, we've shared research with you over the years that going in a hot tub is quite similar in terms of its main effect. Going in a hot tub initiates that same hormetic stress that is imparted when, on your body when you go in a sauna. So just getting hot somehow, it can be hot yoga. Uh, anything to that effect is going to increase that hormetic stress on your cardiovascular system, possibly reducing your blood pressure, improving ejection fraction, and overall health of your circulatory system. So spread the message that sauna is medicine. We shared with you a video about last week where we talked about how sauna therapy reduces the inflammatory burden on the body and can increase life expectancy by combating chronic inflammation. We've talked about all the benefits of the the longitudinal studies by researchers over in Finland who have found that regular sauna users have better brain health, better markers of cognitive function. So there's so many benefits here, but how many people are actually doing this two to four days per week? I mean, I know I am. I know many of you are, but there's millions of people throughout the world who don't see the value in going in the sauna. They maybe don't have access to it or they haven't prioritized this. So you might be wondering, well, is a sauna blanket sufficient? Yes, anything, getting hot, invest, start small, go slow, get a sauna blanket. Maybe you'll be getting more sleep and that enhanced sleep can cause you to perform better in your job and you can invest in more money and into an infrared sauna. Then maybe you can build a backyard sauna and have sauna parties. You know, the the sky is the limit, my friend. So let's spread the message that sauna therapy is medicine, especially for the heart. Because again, if you look at the excess deaths for the past three and a half years, they have been related to heart disease and cardiovascular related challenges. Deaths from hypertension, deaths from coronary artery disease, cerebrovascular disease are on the rise. And so sauna is a great way naturally to improve the health of your heart. If you do sauna and you want to recover and support your electrolytes, check out the Myoscience Electrolyte Sticks. I'll put links below. They can be great before you go into the sauna and then also after. Because when you're sweating, you're not only getting rid of toxins, heavy metals, but you're getting rid of healthy minerals like magnesium, like sodium, like potassium. So it's good to replenish those after the sauna. You can save with the code podcast at checkout. 
And I'll put links to this study and related studies in the description below. Thanks as always for watching. Thanks for sharing this video and we'll catch you on a future one down the road.